I love my work. So who's David? Love of my life. Never stopped loving you. It's the only long-term relationship that you have ever had, and there is nothing to tell. There's nothing to tell. He's married. It doesn't mean anything. Why don't you tell that to Eddie then? What are you? His mum now. His girlfriend's falling in love with you. <laughs> I wanted to tell you myself. I just, I was going to end it with Rob first. No, you don't need to. We're all alone. So what are you doing anyway? I'm a hooker. You owe me 400 bucks. I'm in the public service for some reason. I should have studied law. Why do you say that? I started, I dropped out. <laughs> Why is that? Six years was too long. And all the other students were assholes, which is why they wanted to be lawyers. And I didn't think I was an asshole. So I dropped out. I'm quitting the force. And what do you think you'll do instead? Get a life? <laughs> Talk about what you think is wrong with your present one. Uh, I'm sick of feeling like shit. And you think it's the job that's making you feel like this? What else? We have Madeline Delaney here with us observing tonight. She's considering switching from defence to the good guys, prosecuting for the DPP. She wants to see how we work, so behave. Operation Full Moon. Two males and a female over a six month period. All young and, uh, according to reports, good looking until our guy smashed them in the face with a brick. Motive was not robbery. What about sexual assault? Not that I can detect, no. Straight? Okay. Uh, one man was gay. The assailant, assuming it's the same person, does not seem to discriminate. The woman who survived thinks he tried to pick her up first. Description? Not coherent. She thinks that he crossed himself before he hit her. And given the attacks with the brick and the way he used it, it's possible that our suspect is either himself ugly or disfigured. Or an angry builder. <laughs> So, we know for certain that the attacks took place 100 or so metres from dance clubs, on the strip, on a Friday, when there was a full moon. Oh, oh, oh. Right, so, uh, given all that, what we're actually looking for is a disco, angry, builder, werewolf. <laughs> settle, settle. Tonight, according to the calendar, it seems that the odds for an attack are high, hence Operation Full Moon. So you're going clubbing while you're carrying out routine duties as required. Questions? Donna, Cameron, Ms Delaney is riding with you tonight. Oh, great. Eddie, you and Guido are partnering for the night. You're all in stripper cars. Good luck. Let's go dancing. 
So is this full moon thing for real? Yeah. It's in the stats. Causes king tide in the criminal brain. Haven't you used the full moon defense yet, mate? Is that what you're wearing? Yeah, we're supposed to blend in and not stick out like dog's balls. Why don't you say what you really think? Why don't you try this? Don't worry, it stretches. Good jacket. Mm, yes. What do you reckon? It's good. Look like a puff. I am a puff and you're riding in my car. I believe it's puff I so. I feel like the queen. Smile, two, three. Wave, two, three. Pearls, two, three. Okay, what's the story? Hmm? Donna doesn't approve of my love life. Bullshit. Is that it? Is it Eddie? story with you and Madeline. What's going on there? No story. No story. We'll see ya. Oh, Paul. How are you? Hey, uh, thanks for ringing. Hello, this is uh, Guido. Hi, Guido. How about you? Stranger, we haven't seen you. Oh, well, you know, busy. You know, lunatic is Italian for moon. Like, yeah, lunar, full moon. It's Latin. <laughs> George, these men are from the police. Do you want to you wanna tell them what the man told you? Huh. Well, he said he'd been told to kill someone. Did he say who told him? God. That's what he thought. What this guy look like, George? George is blind, Gwena. He was between 20 and 30. A bit taller than me. Medium height, no accent. He looked down when he spoke. He didn't want to look me in the eye. But he will kill. He is possessed by demons. The church doesn't really recognize demonic possession anymore. Oh, there's a demon inside this man, and he'll kill for it. Oh, he's done it before, am I wrong? Southwest 100, we'll back up Southwest 15. Southwest 100, copy that. What's your ETA? Uh, two minutes radio. Do you want to get that light up, mate? Oh, yeah. So what did Eddie do? He didn't do anything. It's what I did. I didn't save myself for him. <laughs> Shit! Bullshit! You're leading him on the whole time you were screwing around with Rob Singer or whatever his bloody name is.